What's up guys, I'm Tanner Dotson, you're watching Hunt Mississippi, and today I'm joined with my, my Bailey girl. We're just going to do a little bit of review on the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Double Steps, and I uh, figured I'd give you the run through. Uh, when you get them in, they come unassembled, at least they do now anyway, and uh, you'll have to put them together. There's a, they come with instructions, but I would watch the video on the Lone Wolf Custom Gear YouTube page that Cody did. Uh, it took me 15 minutes maybe to set them up and uh, I decided to put some tape on them to, just to silence them up a bit when you stack them but uh, anyway I'll be running them buckleless uh, with uh, no button I don't have the button installed on here uh, it comes with with them but I don't plan on using it because I just I plan on using a buckleless and uh, that seems to work really good so but anyway, let me get them on a tree and, and show you how these things work. All right, so we got this big pecan tree in, in my backyard here, and uh, figured I'd try to try it with the the buckle method. I don't, I can't. It won't work with the buckless method. Just this tree is just too big for it. So I figured how, I'd see how it works with this anyway. If I can get it around the tree. Okay, so this pretty much maxes out with this with just this buckle this tree is just so big anyway so what you'll want to do when you get it there you'll want to give it a good seat before you it locks in good so take it give it a good jump like that and it's rock solid in the tree and I really like the room it's got a pitch out on it you got plenty of room I can get my whole shoe on here if I want to feels really solid and uh saw a few guys take their strap off and you can see the stick actually stay on the tree so we'll try that see see how it does huh that's pretty cool right there it actually stays on the tree there so let's go try some smaller trees see how it does all right, so we uh, found a smaller tree right here that we'll try, and believe it or not, I've uh, found myself in many of these size trees before in hunting situations. So this I'll be doing with the buckless method. Uh, actually saw this method on the mobile hunters page on Facebook. A guy named Zach Rod come up with this, and it's pretty bulletproof, if I say so myself. So we're gonna take it, wrap it around, we're gonna come through this middle, right here we're gonna make a donut hook it around that cleat and then pull it tight and I'll just take my tag in put it there we'll see how this goes in the seat and that actually moved less than the buckle believe it or not I'm jumping on this thing. That is solid. Let's see if it'll stay on the tree like the other one did. That's cool, I'll tell you what. You just it's hard to beat that. You wanna come get a close up on it? So we'll try one, one last tree. This is uh, probably more about what you're gonna find in a hunt situation as far as tree side goes. And uh, more of a slick bark. So we'll see how it goes on this. And uh, I'll be trying the, the buckless method again. Most likely the, what I'm gonna go with this season. So we'll come around and go through this hole right here. Like our donut on this cleat. Tighten it up. Uh, got a good bit, I don't know if you can tell, I got a good bit of play in this actually that time, so we'll see how it goes doing that. And we'll see. I mean, that's a 
solid and quiet as you can get. I have to say, I'm really happy with the way these sticks are performing so far. I've got three of these, and I'll be running cableators as well whenever those get in. Got that, and a 0.5 stand on the way. They should be here before October sometime, but uh, I give these sticks a 10 out of 10. I was, I'm really impressed with, with the way they, they bite. Once you give them that initial seat, they're rock solid, and you're not going anywhere. So if you were hesitant about buying these, I wouldn't be. I'd go grab you some as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.